What's up guys, my name is Harrison. I'm a professional body piercer and stylist here at Lulu's and we've been getting lots of questions about how to properly clean your piercings. So I just wanted to tell you guys what I tell my clients every day here. Alright, so if you are my client right now and you just got a ear piercing or any other piercing really, any, any uh, ear or cartilage piercing, it's going to be the same general cleaning. Um, so mostly it's just going to be twice a day, once in the morning, once at night with saline wound wash. It's going to be in kind of a bottle like this if you want to get some, the link is down in the description below. Um, but you can also get it at any pharmacy or drugstore and just make sure it's saline wound wash because there's lots of different types of salines and people get confused about that. Um, so just mainly twice a day you're going to spray front and back of the piercing and every once in a while if you see some gunk on there that's totally normal you can spray some saline on a q-tip and gently get that just try not to move the jewelry too much and another big thing is also uh, never touch it with your hands never hit it or pull it also try not to sleep on it just be very gentle with it in, in general during the first couple months of the healing process so uh, another thing is I always say less care is the best care so you really only need saline you don't have to do alcohol or peroxide anything like that that stuff usually tend, tend to be too harsh you want something very gentle to clean your piercing with. Side, um, no crazy oils, anything like that, just saline twice a day. And um, also try not to sleep on it. Just be aware of it throughout the day. Even if you're like showering, taking your clothes off, any loofahs, anything that's gonna hit it or snag it is gonna be a problem. Another thing is uh, what to expect with your new piercing is you're gonna get some swelling, that's totally normal. Uh, every once in a while while it's healing, you're gonna see some gunk and that's totally normal as well. That's just um, like plasma and it's, it's kind of like a scab. You'll see it from time to time. You can just gently get that off with a Q-tip and saline. Um, you'll get some soreness here and there. That's totally normal. And some clear or some whitish discharge is also normal as well. Um, if it ever gets to be anything more than that though, that's what we're here for. You can always call us or come by and we'll help you out with that. So if you have any questions, be uh, feel free to drop into the comment section. We might answer it in a future video for you.